Hey there everyone and welcome to my latest video. This time I've actually made or I've been working on a Pac-Man clone for this 8x8 RGB LED matrix. It's not finished. I don't have any pellets to pick up just yet but um, I do have some bad guys getting around chasing me and um, I do have a few levels actually put in there. So um, that's me, the green dot, that's Pac-Man. So he can move around the game area, 32 by 32 pixels and you can see 8x8 eight eight of that at a time. There's five bad guys in every stage and if you get hit it'll take one of your lives off and I've actually got this little LCD screen here that keeps track of everything that's going on. If I was to get hit it would take away one of my lives and also I would turn red for just a few seconds to show that I've been hit. So I'll get hit here and you'll see I've just turned red and um, it takes away a life as well. Um, what else have we got here? You can move, you know, warp through the level from one side to the other just like you could in real Pac-Man. Um, because it's just made out of dots, you've got to use your imagination a little bit more. The controller, I'm using an old Nintendo NES control pad so I can push up or down, right, left to, uh, to move around the place. And to give you some information about what's going on with the game, I've got this LCD screen, which cost me $4 on eBay. So it tells me how many lives I've got, what stage I'm on, and also um, my score. So obviously, your score would go up if um, the more pellets that you get. What I can do here is push, so if you look at the screen down here, if I push select, it actually scrolls through the menu. So I've pushed it there, and I'm on... The main menu, Pac-Man by Brad Slattery. Next menu tells me um, what stage I'm on, lives, things like that, as you just saw before. Push it again. I'm actually on a button status menu, so by pushing different buttons, I can actually test to see if they're working. Let's try and do this one-handed. So I can push A, and A would go to logic 0, or B. So whichever one is pushed down, I should get the corresponding logic zero and you can push multiple at a time so it's just an easy way of testing my buttons are working push select again and now I'm on stage select so I'm on the first stage zero zero if I was to push up it'll then go to stage zero one so I can um, actually play this stage by going back to the relevant menu and now I can start playing this next stage. So I've just put that in there so I can test out that my levels are actually working. Um, again, it's just really handy for troubleshooting. Again, there's no um, pellets to pick up, but that's the next thing I'll be working on when I get around to it. Um, yeah, so, so that's it. It's, it only uses two microchips here. So I've got this uh, PIC microcontroller here, 40 pin, that runs the whole show. Other than that, there's only one other chip, which is a 74373, which is a um, an 8-bit latch. So that all those control the um, the RGB LED matrix. Also controls this LCD screen, um, and it also interfaces with this um, Nintendo controller. Which um, there's only a few lines of code to actually get that to work, which is really handy. Um, Anyway, once I've finished this, I'll post it up on YouTube again, so there'll be loads and loads of levels, there'll be a high score table, and uh, different things like that, so it should be a pretty fun game once it's all finished. I'll also upload details of how you can build one of these for yourself, um, including source code, and um, schematic diagrams, things like that, and a parts list. Anyway, that's what I've been working on. Hope you have found this a little bit interesting.